Lila here from Rapunzel, and I'm going to share with you how I did this wrap. Uh, it doesn't really have a name. I guess we can come up with one together, like a flipperoo braid flip. So I'm using a Petal Soft. I tried to do this with a couple of other type of scarves and I wasn't able to really accomplish the braid so much um, but I was able to twist it with just two the two corners of the tails um, and I'll show you what I mean so let's get into it okay so like I said before um, petal soft I think it was rich purple that it's in I am wearing a um, cloud nine underneath um, and I tied it and I, both sides are even. So, um, remember, like I said in a previous, um, in my lace tutorial, I mentioned, um, when I flip up from the back, when I tie these on the bottom, this tail is the one that we're going to want to come over. Not this tail, because you'll see the knot. So leave this tail down. Okay, so. Um, for the petal soft, because they have these little like rough edges, these like fringed edges, what I do is I just like flip it in and so they don't really show so much. Um, and the truth is for this wrap, you don't really need like need to do that really because this whole part's going to be covered anyway and then um for the back i just stick it anywhere it doesn't really matter where sometimes i stick it stick it between the, like little knot thing that's there just because it's an easy pocket okay now we do the flipperoo flip Okay, so usually what happens is this will sometimes fall, especially if it's if it's um, folded in half when you put it on. It'll fold into like three little parts. And then what I do it's just braid. Who are you? The three little parts. Alternatively, what I've found you, you can do um, with most scarves is you just fan it out, like completely fan it out, and then you just have the two tails. And then with the two tails, you just, you know twist it, twist, 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 ooh, hello, I don't want you, hold on, what's the thing with petals off, oh, you know what actually looks really good with this is, um, t-shirts, or extra long t-shirts, ooh, y'all, they look so cute, and they fan so beautifully, like, in this area, like, it just looks so, so nice. Okay, and then again, I just stick it underneath. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Slip and tuck, and then there you go. That's this one. My friend was telling me like you gotta do like the, the like the pouty lips. Like, I don't I don't think I can do it though. Wait, wait, hold on. No, it's just not working. Okay, so let me show you how to do the braid now. Okay, so for the braid variation, um, it's going to sound weird, but I've only been able to replicate this braid when I don't look at what I'm doing. <laughs> I'll explain as I'm going through but I'm not gonna look about at what I'm doing. So, okay, we'll find out together how this goes. 
So like with the first twist variation, I'll just stick the tail. This is like normal. What is? Doesn't matter much. Just stick it somewhere. Okay, now here we go. I should do like a blindfold challenge. Ooh, that's something for the community group. Okay. So you make kind of like a three three part thing. And you want to make sure that you pull whatever's here, you pull it down so you don't get like that bulge sometimes you get. And you kind of end up forming a braid, a three peaked thing. I don't know if you guys like usually braid. I love braiding my daughter's hair. And like, you know when you're doing it very close to the head, so like you make sure you pull the hair in tight because if you go like that and you put it down, you get this like weird bulge. So it's the same thing with the scarf. Okay, and then the remainder, I just stick, just stick it somewhere, stick it underneath. What did I do? Yay! Like 15 takes later. Anybody wants like an epic temper, tickle temper tantrum, tickle tantrum. I can't even say the word. Nope. Now it's not working. Tickle tantrum. <gasps> so, the second variation. Oh, this is too short. And like, oh my gosh, I feel like I just gave birth. Like, labor, and then it's like finally over. <laughs> and you're like, oh my gosh, I created something awesome and beautiful. So there you have it, the braid variation. And then we also have the twist variation. My recommendation would always be the twist to save your guys headache and tantrums, tickle tantrums. Ain't nobody got time for that. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Wear them in good health. Be sure to show us. Post your, your pictures down below, your comments, tips, tricks whatever, I would totally recommend doing a, um, the t-shirt tickle or extra long t-shirt because it gives this beautiful fan thing, like, and they're really easy to manipulate. Um, but yeah, twist, <laughs> unless you're really ambitious and then you can do the braid. So there we go. Until next time. Mwah! Love you all. I'm so happy how this came out. I think we should name it like, like the Lila braid or the Lila twist. Cause like the braid is just like too hard. <laughs>